Okay, guys, how you doing? This is Big Rich from Ohio Fish Rescue. We got our one of our top volunteers here, Randy. We're driving up to go pick up a bus, a mini bus for Tracy that has wheelchair access. We're going to pick that up today, and then we have worked all day already. It's like, what, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we've worked all day, and I forgot to video. So we're going to skip all that. We're going to show you picking up the bus, and then we're going to go back, and I'll show you a bunch of fish. Stick with us, guys. All right, so you know you have your favorite host here. Sorry, Dad. I'll grab the rim of the net and go. I <laughs> <laughs> got the air behind the neck. These chicken breasts will help. Are you done yet? <laughs> Okay guys, guess what? I didn't video any of it, but we got a new vehicle for the rescue. Look at this, I'm driving a diesel truck with 62,000 miles on it, and look, it's got a side door coming in, there's Hoover, and then look, look at all these seats, and yes, a ramp back there, wheelchair accessible. I'm gonna use that for taking Tracy to her uh, appointments. So it's a dual purpose, you know, it's an old, like, uh, it's a 2004 shuttle bus, basically. It's only got 60,000 miles with a diesel motor. Then You know, they're going to last 300,000. This thing's, like, brand new. Everything works on it. And you got stereo and all kinds of stuff here. AC in the back on the roof there. You can stand up. Look at Hoover standing up. Grab the rails up on the wall. You There's the lighting. In it. Yeah, he can stand up just like a regular bus. Pretty slick. So we're going to take some of these seats got out the, and put in a... Up here. Hold up, Hoover. I'm going to take some of these seats out and put in a, uh, a tub right about, where's my arm, there we go, right up behind these seats, and we're going to put in a tub there for the fish. So it's going to work out great. Okay, we made it home. Here it is, 2000 Ford, or 2004 Ford F450. Um, gasoline, it's a Senator S2. Here's the back side. It's like a bus. It does stick out a little bit in my driveway. But here's the doors to open up for the uh, a wheelchair ramp, which is right here. And it comes out and goes down and lifts Tracy up right to there. So it's gonna be nice. Here's the side of it. And you got side doors here. And on the side, let me go look at the front real quick. There's the front of it. And then here, let's go up inside. You've got the little steps here. Hey, what's up, who? Hey, what's up? Ah. Okay, turn on your inside lights. Turn the key on. There we go. So now we have this exquisite chandelier came with it. We have seating for everybody. And, you know, what we're thinking of is keeping this front seating so that people can talk while we're driving. And we have seating here for five. Um, take out this seating, take out this seating, but right here, this is where a big tub would go, our 500 gallon tub, oh, here, and then here we can have a couple of like the, uh, all the totes that we have for different fish. Now here, just put in a L-shaped couch so we have room to sit and, and enjoy, and then the couch be a double bed. Over here, just put in like a, a big screen TV covering them windows, and you know, the air yeah, conditioner up here. And uh, we've got plenty of room for our rescues and our precious Tracy. So she can come in here, and then we can set her here, and we've got uh, hooks on the ground to strap her in. I think it's a great deal. For We got it. The guy had it up for $6,000, and we went there, and Hoover talked him down, and uh, we got it for three, $3,750. bucks. It's a nice bus with wheelchair access for Tracy so I can go ahead and sell the the man van and we've got this for dual purposes Hoover you can pull it forward two more foot and it's real nice I like it a little longer than I thought and hold up guys I don't know if you've seen him before but that's Randy He's been coming over weekly now and, and helping us out. He's he's the 
you know, he's helping out an awful lot, bringing over plants. And he brought, he went and did a rescue today by his house out in West Salem. West Salem and brought fish here. So he's picking up fish and bringing them here and helping us out. And uh, thank you, Randy, for all your help. He okay, guys, we're now in the back room. Um, we got the, the the new van all sitting back up in the driveway. We can park it in the driveway and still get past it. So we're doing good. What's up, Schwarzenegger? What's up, buddy? Um, so uh, we got a lot of fish in lately. So we're going to go ahead and look at them. But the, the VATF, he's doing great. Look how nicely he's doing with everybody. Gets along with everybody. There's the Atlantic Tarpon. Um, we've, we've, uh, that was some, some, you know, endeavor we went on. I cannot believe I got that for that price. I mean, it's a 2004, so it's older, but it's a diesel and it only has 62,000 miles on it. I cannot believe that. Then, then that, that motor going to last 300,000 miles, you know? So let's see if we can see Pancake over here. Is that her over there? Let me look. Nope. None of those are Pancake. Oh, there's the Pima. Uh, she's probably under here with these guys. Let me see if I can see her on the side here. No. Nope. She's under there. But anyways, um, yeah, I cannot believe it. You know, the guy had it up for uh, ten grand, and he lowered it to six grand. And we get there, and Hoover, Hoover's like, "Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this guy take three grand for it." And I'm like, "Dude, he's wanting six. Offer him like, you know, five grand." So we get there, and Hoover goes and says, "Will you take thirty-five? And the guy's like, "Oh no, I can't do that." And uh, he goes, "Well, how 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 much, uh, you know, can you drop?" He goes, "Well." go four grand and I'm like dude I didn't bring that much you know I can meet you in the middle 35 to four grand and boom 3750 it was it's <laughs> then I had to you know go count the money out because I hadn't I had enough for the six grand <laughs> so yeah Hoover got us uh, the van real cheap so here's a bunch of cichlids down here here's cichlids up here um, we've gotten all them in recently then down here look at all this there's a bunch of uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, convicts and regular cichlids down there. There's convicts everywhere down there. And then you got cichlids down here. And then we've gotten in these uh, Oscars, you know, bino, and then a couple goldfish. So that's all. That's a bunch of new stuff there. This guy's doing good. He, he picked them into the food. I, you see it looks cloudy, but there's a lot of algae on the front and... Uh, Josh has got medicine in there, uh, white cloudy medicine. I forget what he put in this time, but he's tried all kinds of different stuff. He actually took food in his mouth and spit it back out. Spit it back out. So uh, he's he's doing better. Over here, we do have an albino iridescent shark. And I can't see all this. What's over here? Uh, oh, that's a paku. Oh, that's uh, uh, we got that in with the two albino uh, pacus, um, and he's going to a friend of ours that's got a 300 gallon. And he's going to take him and uh, put him in his tank until he he grows out far enough. When he gets too big, he'll bring him back and he'll take whatever we got then. There's a red tail. There is I don't know what that guy is, and there's some fish over there. I can't really see, so I don't know. Um, but. We are going to get ready and start moving this guy. This is the, uh, I'm sorry, not albino, but uh, electric catfish. Um, that, this whole tank here, we're gonna move. Let me zoom out some. This whole tank here, we're gonna move uh, probably in the next couple days. Well, now, tomorrow's Friday. We got the live stream and some work to do. And I gotta get plates for the new van and all that kind of stuff. So this ain't gonna happen until, now Saturday we have a big rescue of over 100 uh, big koi. In, in a pond that is leaking so we got to go and take all those fish so probably Sunday we can move this stuff here to the back door back there and then we're gonna go ahead and move this 110 and 75 is gonna go right here and it won't stick out no farther because if you notice this is you know uh, however long 12 inches but there's six inches behind it between here and here so we can set that up right against the wood and you know it, it won't stick out no farther in the front because it has uh fx5s running it to come in from the side so 
that'll be good. It'll be the same width here. We won't lose no space here. And then you can see here, we have the two pieces of wood for the 135 setup. There's one for the bottom, one for the top. We can put this right against that wall, bring in the two 135s and set them in here and we're good to go. And then this will all be cleared out and we'll have more quarantine space. Um, we've got Doobie going to his new home tomorrow. Doobie, what's up, buddy? Where you at? Come on. Hi, buddy. Hi, say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. Come here. Oh, <laughs> you're not in trouble. Why would you? He's so timid. If there was a girl here, he'd be right there. Or if I had food in my hand, he'd come right to me. Come here, buddy. Here you go. Come on. No, he's real timid. So, uh, he, you know, he's kind of scared of guys. So somebody's done something in the past, but that's okay. We're, we're going to give him a, we got him a good home now. Oh, you will come up now and say hi to me? He just come up and licked my hand. Um, there's the discus. And Doobie, hi, buddy. Hi, hi. Oh, you're safe here, buddy. You're such a good boy. You sure are. Yeah, you are. You good boy. He's got a home. They're coming and taking him tomorrow. Hi. You just love that lovin's, don't you? You love lovin's. You're such a sweetheart. You really are a good puppy. Um, they're coming and taking him tomorrow, and they've already set up the appointment to have him neutered, and uh, any shots that the, the, the vet deems that he needs, uh, and they'll, they'll be up on his record. So, uh, you know, he's got a good home coming tomorrow. And then we won't have to worry about keeping them in here because it's kind of warm in here. It's like 85 degrees. And, uh, you know, if you, you if he runs around at all, he's going to, you know, break his sweat. But he has been eating more now. Um, we've been giving him uh, a different type of food because he came from his owners with, you know, a bag of food. And, you know, he, he kind of, like, took some here and there. And he, he was, like, picky and finicky. We gave him this new food, and he ate the whole bowl. So, I think it's a food thing, a taste thing, and he likes it, and and he ate he ate more now. Um, so you know he's doing good. There's the albino uh, pacus that we put in there. Oh, and look, the mes musk turtles out, the giant Mexican musk turtle. That's Godzilla. Well, we got that from Vincent Wu. And uh, yeah, we're never going with six inch tiles again. We tried that, and without gluing them down, these these stingrays suction them up and pull them up all over that never happened on the 12 inch tile and or with other fish just stingrays so i'm forever having to fix these tiles in this tank and i told everybody don't worry and you know it it, it 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 seals itself to the bottom and they'll never come up well these guys find a way to get them up so if they were 12 inch tiles they would hold down more and uh be harder to pull up and these guys they just do it they just oh my goodness Look at the quality of that ray right there. Look at how beautiful. And then this guy. Look at Beautiful. And then this one here. You guys are gorgeous stunners. You are stunners is what you are. Beautiful. You guys are beautiful. So, and then... Uh, you know, uh, Josh says the jow is eating so much now. He's eating full fillets, not not the little shrimp, full fillets now. So he's packing his belly more. So he's going to start going through a, a, a uh, growth spurt. And this is that barramundi right there. He's the one that goes after your fingers in the water. No, he ain't going to do it now. Because I'm showing him off, yeah, so he ain't going to do it. There's the goons back there. The Indian shovel nose. Here's the datnoid. Uh, of course, our girl Lavaca. Hi, sweetheart. Look at that big old face. Only a mother can love. Hi. <laughs> She's like, that's no clam. I know better. <laughs> and of course, our electric eel. He just, he loves it in his, his, his boats. What's up, dude? And then, you know, we got our, our cichlids. They're just so, so many colors in that tank, it's beautiful. Now, 
we did carry in the 240. We got the stand painted black and the canopy painted black. And then this is the 240 tank that's going to, oh, excuse me. And, uh, ouch. It's going to go where this 150 is. So let me turn around here. This 150 is coming out and this whole 240 system is going right against that wall. Now it'll stick out because, you know, see that's two foot and that's two foot. So it ain't going to stick out no farther, but we're going to leave a little bit of gap behind for some piping. Because see these things here are, are piped in. So we're going to need like maybe two more inches. So it'll stick out two more inches forward than this. Like the, so we're in the middle of this uh, right here. It'll stick out. So that ain't so far, but it's going to be eight foot. And then the canopy is, you know, going to be on top and stuff. So that's going to give us a lot more room instead of this 150. So now Josh has got plans for the 150. I don't want to ruin his videos and, and tell you, but there's plans coming. <laughs> um, and then, uh, you know, the, oh, there's the uh, archer fish. There's another one. Look at that water. There's three of them. There's one down there somewhere. You can see them. There's three archer fish. I'd like to get a few more. And that's our scat. They're all doing so good. Look at these sevens here. And you can see, let me, let me show you. See the stuff on the window here? That is where even this big, huge, you know, $300 magnet won't out. Oh, Jesus, it's hard to move won't take off the algae. Josh has to get in here to clean it because that's where the doors open all the time. So let me go on the other side of the tank and you won't see that. See here there's none. There's there's no algae. There's just a little bit of dirt on the front is all. Um, so I mean it's from that oh there's the third uh, archer. Look at you buddy. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, it's a beautiful tank. There's some more Severums. Oh, there's a leaf fish. Look at him. Some more Severums. There's all kinds of different Severums in here. There's a rock teal in here somewhere. Um, green Severums, all kinds of stuff. There's a red-tailed giant gourami right there growing out. All kinds of fish in that tank. Oh, there's clown loaches. We barely see them, though. Every once in a while, you'll see a couple out. But there's like uh, 10 of them in there. And some of them are about eight inches. That one there is about four inches. Um, so there's some big ones in there, but you know they hide in all this stuff here, and mostly on the back side where see how they can hide right here, but we wouldn't be able to see them from the other side. Well, they do that on the back side, and they all hang out back there, that type thing. So you don't get to see them much. But I am just so excited that we finally got Tracy a wheelchair accessible van, and you know. If I can get this thing up to be where I can trust it, you know, it's it's a it's a nice diesel, sixty-two thousand miles. I think that uh, we can go ahead and sell the black van, and uh, you know we've got the big the big uh, passenger van now. That if we take some of the seating out and put couches in there, like I was talking about, it's also you know comfortable to ride on. Have a fold-out bed couch, and it will be a place where you can sleep and never have to rent hotels again. And also, uh, you know, put TV in there and video game system. And, you know, you can stand up inside there. So we put cabinets in there to hold all of our equipment. It will be a good rescue vehicle. So I'm very happy with it. And I'm very, very happy with the price we got it for. Um, <laughs> kind of felt bad when Hoover's like, we'll give you three grand. <laughs> it was like, oh, my God. So... But, you know, I hope you guys love the video. I'm going to go ahead and let you... Oh, uh, uh, the, the both P-men here are eating good. Look at this Armada. Look how fat he's getting. He is eating so good. Everybody is eating the shrimp. A uh, couple, you know, all the, the stingrays eat the shrimp and tilapia. One of the Pimas eat shrimp and tilapia. The other one only eats shrimp. The Armadas only eat shrimp. He does not like the, uh, the tilapia. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, they're all eating good, though. You can see the lumps in their belly and stuff. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching us. Go ahead and hit that like button if you can. And uh, wait till uh, the next video. So stay fishy, my friends.